Tennessee, known worldwide for the beautiful sights of the Mississippi River, for being known as the birthplace of the blues and Beale Street, and for being the home of the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. For 50 years, Memphis has been the professional wrestling capital of the world. And now, it's with great pleasure that we welcome you to the very first edition of TV5 Power Pro Wrestling! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh yeah! Hello everybody, Dave Brown with Corey Macklin. We are live in the studios of WMC TV5 with Power Pro Wrestling and it's underway. Oh! Let's get it underway right now. Oh, Opening yeah. match of the day. Let's bring them out here. We've got the Spellbinder, Paul Diamond, our first match on Power Pro Wrestling. Here he comes right here from Thunder Bay, Ontario. It's Paul Diamond. Paul Diamond, wrestling in out of Thunder Bay, Ontario. His opponent's going to be coming out here, too. He uh, is set to go on the opening match of Power Pro Wrestling. Say hello to the Spellbinder. There he comes. 285 pounds. A little illusion for the fans. Pro Wrestling being put together by Randy Hales. Randy, of course, lifelong ambition was to be a part of uh, wrestling oh, yeah. and, and own his own wrestling company. And today, just seconds ago, when the bell sounded for this first Power Pro Wrestling match, that dream is realized. Diamond in the air, Spellbinder comes with the uh, with a clothesline down to the mat he goes. And this is right here where he finished it all off, Dave. But Spellbinder rolled him into that small package. And there was no way for Diamond to kick out of it. The two count and the three count. And the Spellbinder, the first one on power for wrestling. Absolutely. We promised a word or two from the man who's put it all together, Randy oh, yeah. Hales. Let's see if we can talk to him right here about power pro wrestling and some of the plans he has for this company. It seems down the way. Here he comes. Here he comes. We step on a balloon and it, it, it goes off. That's all it is. Don't worry. This is uh, almost too much, Dave. I'm telling you, everybody, I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm fired up. I'm as nervous as I can be. And to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm a little bit emotional here today. But I, uh, I want to do something, Dave. You know, I watch TV award shows. And, and one of the things, sometimes I cringe when people start with the thank you speeches. But it's something uh, that that I have to do here today and uh, you know this has been uh, something that I've been working hard at and there's people that's been involved that I couldn't have done this without. Two people that I really want to thank not only in a business type of situation but but in a personal situation I really don't think that I would have survived much less be able to be here and say that I'm opening up Memphis Power Pro Wrestling. I want to say two gentlemen Dave Brown, Corey Macklin back there. You guys, we've all been through tough times. I love both of you guys like brothers, and thank you very much. Also, I want to thank several other people. I'm real tickled to death with all the great wrestling talent, the roster of talent. I think the people will be tickled to death. Special thanks to, uh, to Buddy Wayne. Buddy's been assisting me in doing different things and running around and, and going crazy. I want to thank uh, Buddy. The situation, the support from here at WMC TV5, the whole building, I want to thank, but especially, of course, Creighton Armour is the director of operations. That's the guy that you saw earlier. The guy that we've been uh, 
his wife told me, he said, he's been uh, seeing you a lot more than he's been seeing me lately as James Estes, our director. He's the best in the world, folks. And a special thanks to Mason Granger. Yesterday, of course, was his last day. Mason's upstairs. I salute you, Mason. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you very much, the confidence in giving me the opportunity. And I want to thank the fans right here and the fans of Memphis, Tennessee. Greatest in the world. I know this is a lifelong dream, and I know you got big plans for this company. I want to say this. I think we're fortunate, people. Memphis, Tennessee in the Mid-South is the greatest place in the world to live. The greatest place in the world to live. And I want to tell you. And I've followed professional wrestling all my life. And this Memphis Power Pro Wrestling, TV5 Power Pro Wrestling, from the bottom of my heart, we're going to do, every person here, do, going to do everything in our power to make Memphis TV5 Power Pro Wrestling the greatest wrestling television program in the country. Yeah. Memphis, Tennessee, this is going to be a wrestling promotion that you're proud of. The wrestling promotion for Memphis, Tennessee that's local. I'm thrilled up and I promise you the greatest wrestling possible. Everybody, thank you very much. Here today. Thank you, Randy Hale. Thank you, Randy. And we're going to continue with Power Pro Wrestling. We're going to be looking at the Universal Heartthrob and the final confrontation. Lawler and Dundee still to come. Hi, this is Jim Cornette, and I'd just like to say congratulations to Randy Hales, Mason Granger, all the folks at WMC-TV, and especially all the fans in Memphis on the birth of Memphis Power Pro Wrestling, bringing the tradition of Memphis wrestling back to the whole area and keeping uh, Memphis alive as one of the great wrestling cities in all the country. And by the way, just remember, when Memphis Power Pro Wrestling hits that Mid-South Coliseum, well, you know, James E. might just have to come home. Randy Hales came out of here and he was giving all these accolades and he was thanking everybody from the control room and all the staff and everybody. You know who he should have thanked and only one. And let me give you a, that's right, the women's pet, the men's regret, the universal heart drug, just as pretty, sexy, and mean as I have ever been. I'm the only one Randy Hale should have thanked. Yeah, you hear the music, the King, Jerry Lawler! And here he is! The very first edition of TV5, Power Pro Wrestling, and the King being carried in on the throne. Hello, Jerry! Looks great, guys. Hey, Dave. Right. Hey, all right. I love the new desk. Dave! Dave! Hey, Brian, it's how been are been a long time. What are yeah, you doing, yeah. Dave? Well, we're just getting ready for the new show here. We're getting ready for the show. Well, I'm here for the show. Well, no, no, well that's not... Uh, Come on, Dave. It's Saturday. It's live. It's it's tomorrow. I know, but I called. I called Randy Hales, left a message. I emailed you. I called Jerry Lawler. I told him I wanted to move it today, Friday. Well, I have the show today. But we can't do that. We, Why I mean, not? Well, because it's got to be live. And if we did it today, we'd have to tape it and play it back and all that. We can't. We got crowd coming in. Hey, Dave, we got the desk. We got you. We got me. What no, more do we need? No, we need we, a ring. No, Where's we, the ring? Uh, the ring's not Where's here. Ring? That's part of the problem. Part huh? of the problem. Can't do it today. Hey guys, we Come can on. have the show today. Don't you think? Go out on oh, Union, get, a few, on. get the crowd in here. Come on, guys. Yeah, we get the crowd in here. We get no, the ring set up. We got me. We could wrestle, maybe. You know, we huh? can't. No, we can't do it. Oh, we come can't on, Dave. Both of these guys are very difficult to pin. You, you will probably see several two counts during this match. Each of them is tough to hold down for that final count of three. Maybe hard to pin for you. Easy to pin for me. I could pin them both. The same. I'd have beat them both right now at the same time. Lawler and Dundee slugging it out here on Power Pro Wrestling. By the way, Dave, early time next week. 10.30, right here, live on TV5. 10.30 next week. Uh-oh, the referee knocked down there. Yeah, referee Aubrey Wayne down. Lawler whips Dundee in. Ooh, oh, Dundee. Hey, look at the loser.
losers. Lawler sort you of You see there's two back. losers basking in their agony. Let me show you who's running the program here. I'll determine who wins and who oh, loses. Come on, Austin. No, you're not, they're not going to determine anything, Austin. Come on, Idol. Come be nailed with a chair by Idol. You're supposed to be over come here commentating, on. not getting involved in the action. Oh, yeah. That insult to injury, day. Idol. You ain't changed, you still a snake in the grass, you punk. You can't whoop nobody face to face. Well, I'm gonna tell you, you take a good look at this and you think about it till next Saturday. This contract you left right here, Bill Dundee's gonna yeah. sign it. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Bill signing the contract. Need to sign it two places right here. There it is, the signed contract. If you want to come out right now, show all them people how big and bad you are, we'll do it right now. But you ain't got enough guts, Idol. I didn't like you when I first met you in Australia, and I don't like you now. You're right. Oh, yeah. You'll stay right there. Come on, no. Here he comes. The contract is signed right here. Idol signed it earlier, challenged anybody. Bill Dundee just took him up on it. We're out of town, buddy. Corey Macklin. <laughs> Dave Brown. to go with another big Saturday of action. Dave Brown and Corey Macklin here at ringside once again. Here we are, buddy, right here for the Power Hour. We're on air live in the studio of WMC TV 5 and ready to go with another big one. And in the ring right now, the owner, the founder, the president of Power Pro Wrestling, Randy Hale. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you very much, Corey. If I could everybody have everybody's attention uh, for just a second, wanted to start the show, and it'll be a great show today, and we're thrilled to death with everything scheduled. Wanted to make this announcement. You know, Power Pro Wrestling premiered three years ago on April the 18th, 1998, and it was the happiest day of my life, and I'm sure a lot of people here were there that day. You know, Memphis Wrestling has been a part of me for my whole life. I started watching wrestling in 1971, and I guess obsession is a good word to, to say, but I love Memphis wrestling. It's part of me. You know, my dream always, you know, a lot of kids want to be the doctor or the lawyer. I wanted to be in the wrestling business. A lot of people don't get to live their dream. Most people don't get to live their dream, and I'm blessed for the fact that I was able to do that thanks to a lot of people over the years and thanks to the best wrestling fans in the world, the fans of Memphis, Tennessee, we were able to do that. And for the past, from the, for the past three years, I think uh, we've done a great job and uh, the talent have been great. A lot of people have put their heart and soul into Power Pro Wrestling and from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every one of them, and I hope I can get through this interview right now because I feel myself not getting through it. Anyway, I wanted to make this announcement. You know, one thing that's, that's uh, sure in life is that you can always be sure of is that, uh, that uh, everything changes. And regretfully, I'm here to announce that I had a meeting last uh, Saturday afternoon, and due to, uh, to, to kind of way financially things have changed in uh, the wrestling business and the TV business and because of insurance uh, liability uh, reasons I was informed a week ago last Saturday that today is the last ever Power Pro television show and I just wanted to come out and tell you and I don't want to bring people down uh, today because you never know what happened down the line they're going to start airing next week of uh, the best of Memphis wrestling, some classic footage, and you never know what happened after that. 
I just wanted to come out here right now once again and say that I appreciate everything from everybody. You know, there's a lot of things that, that needs to be settled around uh, here because over the last several months, there's been things going on that I hadn't liked and the people hadn't liked. And this spellbinder, this Brandon Baxter, has done the most disgusting stuff I've ever seen in my life, especially when Jerry Lawler and uh, uh, Stacy, by the way, I'm in the same situation now Jerry and Stacy is. They've been out of a job, now I'm out of a job. But to, to go in like they've been doing and insulting uh, and making parodies on them is just disgusting. So they'll pay, and they'll pay today. The very final main event in the history of Power Pro Wrestling. Spellbinder, you're real big and bad. But today, in this very ring, it will be Jerry the King Lawler and the Spellbinder right here today. And also, Stacy, who I've known for a long time, love her to death, she came up to me and said, Randy, do me one favor. She said, this Brandon Baxter has been a thorn to me for a long time. I want to match with him one-on-one -on -one right here today on the Power Hour. Now, Stacy weighs 105 pounds for some reason or another. After hanging around the Spellbinders, Brandon Baxter's gained a lot of weight probably 185, 190, that's not fair. I told Stacy I didn't want to do that. But Stacy assured me she had a plan for Brandon Baxter. She told me she liked the plan, so I'm going to book, book the match. Stacy Lawler, Brandon Baxter, right here on the Power Hour, and we have a lot of great things today that I'm really excited about. Once again, I want to thank the wrestling fans of Memphis, Tennessee, especially the boys in the back, and everybody that's been great to us. Here I come to What's save the uh, show. Yes, oh, yes, my yes. goodness. Not Lance here again. Jade. No need to fear. Lance Jade is here. Oh, he so shows what? back up. Oh, the take on. Here comes uh -oh, the he fight. Oh, somebody. <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for, Lance Jade. Ali hits the ring, and he's highly upset because he is not scheduled for a bout in the end. Lance Jade wants to wrestle. Here you go, Lance. Well, you know, I know it's a very emotional time for Randy to stand out here and have to make the announcement that this is going to be the last uh, Power Pro show. He didn't really, he didn't really have the uh, opportunity to go into all of the details, and 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 of course. You know, when on, on the surface, it may look like uh, that part of this is Randy's fault when uh, you guys all know right. and I know that, that that's not the case. Exactly. In this day and time, uh, I mean, unless you're the WWF, it's very difficult to make money and, and be really profitable uh, unless you have all of that, that, you know, that big, huge WWF machinery behind you. And, and, and for the, Randy has done a valiant job uh, with the Power Pro Wrestling Company. But uh, part of the problem, is, 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 as you know, Dave, is the studios here at Channel 5. I mean, they were to, Randy was told that they're going to be refurbishing these studios for the, about the next three months. And uh, so that had a, had a part to uh, something to do with the fact that uh, there couldn't be live wrestling shows in here. And so uh, anyway, all of this stuff culminated at a sort of an inopportune time. Can I just say one thing? There's certainly there's some great big doors here. It's part of it is so simple is that those doors open the wrong way. So you add a bunch of that stuff together, and that's what's going on. Here's Reggie B. Fine. Reggie B. Fine. He's got his Easter flock on ready for the weekend. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, he's got that, there he is. He's got that fur coat from back in the 18th century <laughs> that he found somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> he just kind of stepped over. And uh, all flexed, it. flexed it, his whole group got a flex. Yeah, that was like poetry in motion. Reggie challenged the other corner, and instantly all four of them started after him. And Reggie says, I got to go. Wait a minute, I got to wow, go. I got to yeah. go back to the players. Club. I think my bus is here, he said. <laughs> yeah. You want to get the MAPA quickly and get out of here. Oh, look at that. What a move. Wow. I'm telling you, one, that was a two count. Man, this is big time wrestling going on. What about? Trying to get this whole thing settled out. It's going to be tough to do, though. There goes all that over the top rope and onto that concrete floor. Well, they may have lost the match, really, yeah. but they're standing tall on the yeah, four corners of the ring right now. Don't go away, fans. We've got Brandon Baxter against the Cat coming up right after.
after these messages. That's going to be dandy. Oh, no. Uh -uh. He brings a chair up to the ring. Oh, no. The referee. Oh, no. you can't hey, here bring comes that in Suzanne. Here. That's, That's Stacy's sister. sister. Yeah, Suzanne. Suzanne. We've seen her a few uh, a few weeks ago. We saw her here. Yeah, and Suzanne stops him while the cat rolls him up. Stacy's got him too. Side, but nothing was said about her sister Suzanne, who helped out at the critical moment when she saw that Baxter had gone for a chair. Oh, yeah. She was able to get the chair and to strike Baxter long enough for the cat to roll him up, hold the shoulders down. Tangle up now. Spellbinder packs the king up. Oh, Referee Bill Rush in on him. Man, look at the spellbinder go. Out and away on, on the king and a right to the end section. Lawler staggers over to the corner. Spellbinder whips him in and oh, I mean, oh. That hurt all the way over here, Corey. That he hit that that turn time. I'm gonna tell you, this Spellbinder has some power, man. This yeah. guy's, he's as big and as thick as they come. And he doesn't like it all that the fans out here making a mockery of his, his size and his, his statue because he is tough, let me tell you that. He's the spellbinder. That, he's got that boot across the throat and he leaves Lawler in the corner. Now he's insulted us. He's going after referee Bill Rush. He's saying, hey, come on. Uh oh, he's getting the king hot. The spellbinder over oh, choking him now. Every Bill Rush is right there. And Rush gets him off of him. The King. Out of Memphis, Tennessee. Trying to fight his way back. The oh, look out. Look out. Yeah, that did it. running out oh, we've boy, got boy. one minute exactly left in uh, not in, in the time limit either we're in the show we've got left right here oh, he a big a rough slam. Hey, man, oh my goodness he'll be fine for that one i guarantee you what that a way won't go away spellbinder nails referee bill right uh oh lawler hooks him down lawler's got him here comes randy randy gets two three of the three count and randy gets in counts the one two uh -oh. hey, hey, spellbinder, spellbinder reaching he for Randy He grabbed by his hair, but hey, not before. The owner makes the three count. Oh, he makes and a big time One, two, big, three. The big main event. Corey, yes, that's it for the Power Hour. Thank you for joining us, the fans. Next week, 10 o'clock in the morning, Corey and I will be, be back here. with something special. We'll see you then. See you next week. Bye-bye.